Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy from lotusnotebook.com. Episode 19, X Pages, Getting Column Totals from a View, Total Eclipse of the Columns. Okay, this is a show for X Page developers, obviously. Before we get into it, I've got a couple of announcements to make. Uh, the first big one is the uh, free lug, I am lug, at St. Louis on August 2nd to 3rd. Uh, I'm going to be there and I'm going to actually be giving a session this year. Uh, it's called X Pages Beyond the Introduction. This is a brand new session uh, for me. It's going to be kind of like a. Uh, it's a, I guess, an advanced intro, kind of um, getting more comfortable with it, getting uh, a feel around. We're going to look at some tips and tricks and uh, going to do something kind of cool with JavaScript in the end. So I'm kind of excited about that. There's also going to be three other X Pages sessions there. Uh, Matt White is doing one. Uh, Paul Calhoun is doing one using XML as the back end. I think Matt is doing a. Uh, some a design pattern one and a Nathan Freeman and Tim Tripconi will be in the house and they're going to be doing something that uh, is probably going to be uh, filled with eye candy so that's going to be a very good event uh, and again it's free um, on August 2nd to 3rd I am lug now the day after I am lug is this tack it on day they're doing now this is a paid day and there's three different sessions uh, the one of the most interest is the X pages session so Matt White who does the wonderful X pages 101 uh, training video website uh, is going to be there and he's going to have a classroom day for you to get up to speed on X pages as they bring your own laptop uh, Day, and he's going to go over data binding themes. It's pretty much, I think, going to be an intro uh, kind of class, but uh, it should be very educational. Uh, I'm actually going to be there that day. I'm going to play the role of caddy and just try and help out where I can if, if anybody needs it. So this is a Matt White uh, class based on the, the website and the other courses that he's done across the pond so if you want to get up to speed next page is even quicker I highly recommend you checking it out okay now in the middle of August is MW lug at mwlug.com and this can be in Cleveland August 19th and 20th and I'm gonna be there again and here I'm gonna do two sessions actually I'm gonna do the beyond the introduction session and I'm also gonna do a kind of a pure introduction to X pages kind of getting started like a, a little jump start so uh, I'm kind of excited about that uh, there's a lot of X pages sessions here it's kind of like they're gonna have their own track uh, so we We've got uh, starting X pages, avoid these 10 gotchas, uh, web technologies every domino developer should know, uh, which I don't think is going to be totally X page focused, uh, but if you're doing X pages, you're going to want to know these web technologies. Um, what you need to know to get started with server side JavaScript, uh, Scott Good is going to be doing that one. Uh, X pages workshop, building a sample application. This is going to be a hands on lab by Mike McGrail. Uh, from Sarnowski, uh, I believe is the company name, and uh, he does a great job with X Pages, and he's going to be working with with uh, another guy, Roy, who uh, is going to provide this hands-on lab experience. So that should be uh, very educational. Uh, and Tim Traconi will be there for the evolution of the possible, which is going to be another, uh, I believe, kind of eye candy session. Um, so be sure to check that out. Okay, now let's get on with the show. What I want to talk about today is, uh, first, let's the disclaimer. Of course I want to talk about that because I'm using a beta version of Notes. I'm using 852 uh, Cord code drop 5 and it should be noted that IBM does not promise that any of the features that are in the beta will make it to the final shipping product. Uh, but if some of them don't, I'll probably jump out a window because they're, there's pretty good stuff in there. So okay so what do we want to talk about view column totals uh, let's get on with the demo okay so what we want to do is be able to go to an X page and pull in the value uh, from a categorized view uh, that's showing us totals so we've got some totals here and I want to be able to pass in a key basically and bring in this value so let's see what that looks like on an X page if we go into a company here, we can see a company, and here is basically, you know, like line items. So if we add a new line item, test four, you know, nine for notes and nine, hit save. Okay, so 
we've got our line items here and we've got this total which is actually in a label control which we can put in wherever we want and isn't even tied to this view control that's on the page here so we don't even have to show this view we can just pull that in and do whatever we want with it so let's see what that looks like uh, first thing I want to show you is an 852 um, there's a couple new options here in the UI filter by category name and that's what I you could do it before but now it's a little prettier so what I'm doing is basically I'm using a session scope variable for the key and when this X page is launched I'm getting the key from up here and putting that into the the scope variable and that's how I'm showing just the items for this company but that's not what we're here to see today uh, what we want to see is this label control and what this is, it's server-side JavaScript, but quite honestly, when I started working this out, I, I started doing it in LotusScript, because I hadn't done this in LotusScript that much, um, and it was just a little easier to work with. So what do we have here? We've got a, a view variable, uh, and we're using database get view. And remember, session and database are always there for you. So unlike LotusScript, uh, you don't have to, you know, go get them. They're just there. And then we're going to create a navigator, because I think navigator is the only way to get to these column totals uh, for these categorized columns and, and, and everything. Um, and then this is the problem. I, I did have some problems with this. And I saw Nathan Freeman on Bleed Yellow one night, and he kind of gave me some pointers here uh, about this get previous. The problem is, if you want to get an entry, you can't get a category. You can only get an actual entry. So what you have to do is you have to get the first entry of your key that you're interested in and then to go get the, the the categorized totals you have to back up one with your navigator so we use get previous and then with the entry so we we get the first entry which is kind of like the think of it as a document and then we back up one and then I do a little check here and then what I return is entry get column values to and look at this syntax here if you're using get column values you, you need these parens and then you put in which one you want so this is actually the the third column so it goes starts with zero so zero one two so if we look at the view zero one two so I'm getting this column oops and that's really the gist of it so that lets you get this value Thank you very much. And that's the demo. Uh, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, if you do want to contact me, here's my contact information. And uh, I'll see you next time.